Okay, everyone, welcome to today's uh, webinar. <clears throat> okay, uh, you know, uh, I have really launched a poll, so please uh, do fill up the poll and let us know, uh, is this your first time with us? Okay, so uh, as I'm taking a look at the poll, we have a couple of new new people here. So um, let me tell you more about what we do. You know, we have a daily webinar where Jin will be walking you through his thoughts and ideas for a very specific currency for each day. Monday, we'll talk about Aussie and New Zealand. Tuesday is the Euro. Wednesday is the Pound. Thursday, Yen and Gold. And Friday, Canadian Dollar and the cryptocurrencies. Now, today it's um, Friday. So Jin will be speaking about all, um, the Canadian dollar and later we'll be talking about the cryptocurrencies. Now, as you'll be taking us through different time frame, this webinar is going to be very beneficial to both long-term investors and short-term traders. You now, during this session, Jin will be going through what could prices, possible trade ideas, highlighting potential targets and risks. However, disclaimer, any information shared during this session is not intended to be a trade recommendation. It is solely the opinion and views of the speaker. So please remember to do your own analysis prior to entering any trades. Now, a quick introduction to Gene. Gene is the founder of LCMS Traders and Forest Briefcase. Gene's run LCMS Traders where he coaches uh, traders on how to trade Forex and how to be consistent and profitable. And of course, Forex Briefcase, which is our managed account services where Gene trades an AUM of more than 12 million US USD on a daily basis. Now, Jin has been invited to speak on many stages globally, such as Hong Kong, KL, um, uh, Australia as well. So now, to, to, what we'll do is to give him the, his views on the forex market. Now, let me run a second poll uh, right now. A second poll to let me know uh, how did you get to know here? How to get to know this webinar? Okay, thank you. Please do fill up the poll. Uh, while you're doing this, let me take the opportunity to share with you about LCMS Traders Club. Okay, now I'm sharing the LCMS Traders Club. The LCMS Traders Club is a private group on Facebook where we teach, guide, signal, and coach you to be a better and more profitable trader. This is the place to be regardless of whether you're new, experienced, part-time, or full-time trading. Now, if you have joined us on the Telegram channel, you have been enjoying our trade signal absolutely free. A question you might have is that when you were told when to get into the trade, you will do not know where to exit. Now, in the Traders Club, we not only give you the signals earlier than the Telegram channel, we also tell you the strategy behind it and also guide you on where to exit with specific reasons. So in the long run, you not only earn from the signals, you also learn how to trade better. For example, here yesterday, we gave this signal much, much earlier than the Telegram channel. We issued a buy, a euro pound at 0 0.8615, give you a stop loss, very clear stop loss and the three possible take profit targets. You know, and then when we, we look at here in the comment sections, we did give all the analysis, what we are looking at, why we decided to give a signal trade here. Okay, and then when it hits the T, uh, based on the market condition, it hit TP1, TP2, TP3, we will suggest one of the TPs to, if it hits one of the take profit targets, to exit out the trade to secure your profits. Now, if you want to learn new strategies, require some coaching, we also have members only live Zoom sessions on Monday and Wednesday's evening. On Monday, we run trade ideas, teach you new strategies, update you on recent market economic developments and also we have question and answer sessions where it's a, your opportunity to pick Gene's brain on pretty much on any trading related questions that you might have. Now on Wednesdays you should join as well because we run live trading sessions so that you can trade together with Gene. Okay and not only that we have a wide range of analysis for club members such as you can really go on a popular topic post here we have a currency watch list I'm sorry. Current, we have a currency watch list. I'm sorry. Currency watch list here where we tell you which currency pass we are looking in the morning, what possible buy or sell actions you could do, a possible entry level and a potential uh, profit target level as well. You know, and not only that, um, we also have the weekly currency correlation where we look at which currency on each week, which currencies are passed are positively or negatively correlated with each other. Okay, now how do how do you get all this uh, information? Back all these great information, we can shortcut your way to, uh, way to your trading success. All you need to do is to join the group. 
which is the link which is paid in the chat group already. It is a paid subscription of one nine nine. All you got is you got to go is Traders Club lcms.com the sg and it is a you click the button 199 a year but really it's less than a dollar a day now if you're really facing uncertainty in your trading taking any risk on your trades you need to join the club to get some guidance towards profit get some coaching to improve your confidence and strategy immediately now trading though it can be very lonely but with a close-knit community ready to share trading can be very enjoyable and definitely profitable now if you already haven't really joined make sure you click the button now and join so while you are clicking the button and join i will now hand over to gene for his analysis all right <clears throat> good morning everyone so um friday end of the week looking at the canadian dollar um and then also into the news for next week, what currency pairs to pay attention to in particular um, as we approach the end of the week and end of the month, which means that we're heading into March. So it's going to be quite interesting. The first week of March, where we're going to see, we've already seen a lot of US dollar, um, some US dollar strength come around overnight. Um, will this continue? Possibly, but let's get into it to start. All right, so that's. Traders Club, that's not what you're here to look at. You're looking to look at that. Okay. <clears throat> so, ForexTradingAsia.com, head on to that to get your news and your analysis. <coughs> what I'm looking at here on the economic calendar part is today is Friday. Um, we've gone through quite a bit of news already and hasn't had too much impact on prices. The main things you want to pay attention to with what's coming up in the news well well we spoke about euro we spoke about pound already some swiss franc gdp numbers euro numbers coming out. a lot of euro numbers coming out the main thing is the us um where is it well we've got canadian numbers as well we've got us pmi numbers was 63.8 expected 61.1 slight drop uh, consumer sentiment looking at a slight consumer sentiment looking at a slight drop again from 79 to 76.5 overall i don't think i don't think today will be a big news impact day um, predominantly because of what we've just seen overnight um, treasury use having a big fluctuation uh, we've seen how the us dollar has gained quite a bit of strength across the board um, which has led to actually what we are seeing now a bit of a possible retracement coming around i'll tell you more about that when we look at the charts but you know let's look at what could happen next week as well as we approach the end of the week so scrolling through what you'll notice is on monday 1st of march um, we have a lot of Aussie news com coming out. We have the Chinese manufacturing PMI numbers coming out. Same, probably staying at about 51.4. Um, pound news, pound PMI numbers coming out there. And then the main thing I want you to pay attention to would be on Tuesday, 2nd of March, we have the Reserve Bank of Australia's interest rate decision. So likely to hold at 0.1%, but pay attention to the rate statement. Are they, you know, with that recovery coming around in the Aussie economy, are they looking at still keeping it at 0.1%? I think most likely the case. What's the long-term projections? Probably going to stay at this level. Not a lot of change, but look out for any surprises that might come around on Tuesday, 11.30, I'll guide you through that Aussie and when we look at it on Monday, okay? Um, and then we've got more pound news, more Euro employment numbers, but not too keen on Euro employment numbers at this stage. Uh, we have Canadian news come out on, when was it? On Tuesday. So Canadian GDP, something we need to pay attention to if you're entering any trades right now, today. Uh, Canadian GDP coming out on Tuesday. Expected on a month on month to go from 0.7 to 0.4 percent. So, looking at you know a bit of a stable GDP coming around uh, for the Canadian side, but this also could mean that 
you know, we could see some strength come around for the Canadian dollar because as we see that stability come around, less volatility in terms of economic data, we could see that stability, which could lead to strength. Okay, um, and then we have ISM numbers. And on Wednesday, we have a lot of GDP numbers coming out for the Aussie side. So Aussie GDP numbers, look out for that. I'll tell you more on Monday. And then Euro numbers again, as per usual, pound numbers. Main thing what you want to pay attention to here is on Friday. Friday, we have the non-farm payrolls coming out again for the US at 9.30, looking to go from 49K to 110K. Okay, so um, pay attention to the non-farm payrolls coming out on Friday. So what we see here is quite a bit of news across the board in terms of um, the Aussie dollars coming you know, next week, the CAD GDP numbers coming out, and all you know, the US non-farm payrolls with the recent US dollar strength happening. What this means on the charts is for the US CAD right here, we saw that big downward move. That big downward move over the past couple of weeks um, since the first, since early Feb, right? One, two, three, four weeks coming down, hitting that 1.2442 level. As we were trading that together with our Traders Club members on Wednesday um, night, we were looking to say that, hey, at that point, at this support level, it's quite a key level because the last time it reached that point was way back in December 2017. You can see here as I move the chart, way back in December 2017, it hit that point before going back up again. So now we're back to that same level and you can see that big reaction there at 1.2442. That big move upwards hitting that one tail there, I'll zoom in one so it's a bit easier to see. That one tail there hitting 1.2635 and rejecting, hitting and rejecting that level. So what we could actually see here now for the US CAD is possible, I'm still looking for still possible downside. Still possible downside, especially with that candle, that price action candle there. However, I think that we might see it sit across a little bit or possibly go back up a little bit before turning back down. I think that we might see another test of this 1.2635 resistance level before we see it resuming back downwards. So what could actually happen is over this period as you know that momentum carries through with the US dollar, the short term US dollar strength come around, we could see it go back slightly, ever so slightly towards that 1.2635 resistance before retracing back down again towards that 1.2442 level. So in this case, I would not be looking to buy it up towards 1.2635. I would be looking to sell. Looking to sell um, whether it retraces back up or whether it just goes straight down like that I would be looking to sell only if it closes, you know, below 1.2580. Below 1.2580, you're looking at a good, you know, 60, 70 pip stop loss for 130 pip take profit level. That is going to be 60 pips to 130 would be about a one is to two point something. Or if it's 70 pips stop loss to 130, it's almost a one is to two risk reward ratio in that scenario. So something to look out for, something to pay attention to for the US CAD. Not ready right now, a little bit of patience to wait for that as we see that this current candle react to that rejection of that 1.2635 resistance level. Before we get into the cryptocurrencies or the Bitcoins and all that, uh, just a quick review here, you know, the pound yen. I spoke about a pound yen yesterday saying that at a 1.149.94 level, we are looking for that big rejection of that level. We've actually seen it happen already. So shared this live yesterday during the currency call saying that we're looking to sell at that point. If you did, I think I was saying 
50, you're looking at that 100 over pips profit there. Looking for it to go, possibly head down and test 146.64 before maybe a resumption upwards or maybe even not all the way down 147.62 might see a bounce back up again. So happy about, super happy about that pound yen um, analysis there. Euro yen as well said that, you know, at 129.51 was going to break back down towards that 127.29 level. We are seeing it starting to move. So pound yen, you might be a little bit late to the party if you haven't got in there. Um, Euro yen might be something that you want to, you might be just a little bit late, but still possible there. US yen still sitting at a 106 level, hasn't done too much. We are waiting for that reaction to that resistance level. <clears throat> Pound dollar hasn't gone up as we expected. Didn't break that 142 level. So that move upwards is a bit invalid. Now it's come down and test that 104 support level. Let's see whether it holds. Um, Euro pound, because of how the pound has been going, it's gone back up. And that Euro dollar, although that big upward move, you know, out, way outside of Bollinger Band and that big retracement back down towards 1.2145. Okay, so with all that said, now I'll pass it back to Daniel to guide you through the different cryptocurrencies. Thank you. Thank you, Gene. Um, so yeah, there you go. US CAD and a review of what has happened for the various uh, currency pairs of yen. Now let's look at the cryptocurrencies. Okay. Cryptocurrencies, yeah, just this week, uh, this week alone, pretty much movements. Lots move up quickly and coming down even quicker. So, you know, we were talking about it continue to move up. Uh, if it breaks the resistance level for Bitcoin, like 50.3, continue go this resistance, it will continue to broke up to 55. Yes, it indeed, it did that. And what happened was a lot. It seems that a lot of uh, uh, speculators out there felt that valuation is too high, and with the compounding of the ten-year uh, treasuries yield keep going up, it actually seems to be impacted pretty badly on the, a lot of cryptocurrencies uh, happening in the market. And there we go, one big drop, drop immediately down. Breaking, in fact, two of my support zones, support zone level here at 55 and 50, coming all the way down. It came all the way down to even 45,000. Uh, 45, now, so, so, but then what we are looking at is it could, could it move further down? It could, if indeed the psychological level of 45,000 has been broken it most likely can go all the way down to 40,000, hitting to my, pre, uh, my previous trend line here, the inner trend line coming quite close to this level. Then on after which we will be looking at uh, the pure demand and supply where, you know, we do are seeing, we, previously we you know Tesla says that they want to buy, look at Bitcoins, they really accept Bitcoins. Uh, we are having uh, more and more companies now, uh, like online uh, companies, uh, the Japanese Raku, Rakutan, uh, is looking to also accept Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as well. So we'll, we'll, we'll probably see a stability uh, much later. But so if bear in mind, I'm looking at it is if it breaks below the 45,000 mark, it could go all the way to 40,000. If it doesn't, then most likely it will hover around the 45,000 and 50,000. The demand, it will most likely be shifting across. I, I, I think will be most likely be shifting across, uh, moving between uh, this uh, 45 and 50,000. Pushing higher up will take another speculative demand. A big company looking at to buy a bigger uh, valuation right then. But bear in mind, right now, because of the huge, uh, huge rise, fast rise in the market, a lot of people, including the government, the US government, are looking into regulations on the cryptocurrencies as well. So that is always on somebody uh, on everybody's mind when you are should be everybody's mind when you are trading the cryptocurrencies. Now you look at the Ethereum, sorry Ethereum here this is even worse badly affected than the Bitcoin. Uh, it pushed all the way down. I was looking at it go up. It didn't. It put came all around. It's really impacted due to the high valuation. They were badly impacted uh, and sell a quick sell off, even breaking through all the the uh, so-called support resistance. I'm looking at before it counts back in. 
okay and now again uh i looking at the ethereum i think it will continue to move uh downwards looking at here if it breaks if it does break uh the 140 mark it could goes all the way down to maybe 120 or even the 1000 mark but if it doesn't then uh it will most probably move around the cycle driver 140 and the one 180 mark but i think most likely over between 140 to 150 and you will take i think it will take quite some time before it could uh recover uh well okay so that's that's uh, that's all i have for the cryptocurrencies uh here so i'm going to launch another uh, a poll the last poll that i have uh here um how do you find these sessions today okay uh, i'll look at how do you find this session today so um and then, uh, so for those who are new here, a recording of this video will be uploaded in the LCMS Traders uh, YouTube channel and also the Forex Trading Asia website. So do take note of that as well. So thank you for joining these sessions today. Uh, we'll catch you back on Monday to talk about the Aussie and USD. See you guys. Bye.